Okay, let's take a look at number two. So, in number two, it says compare the cholesterol at the beginning of the study of the individuals according to their age group. What do you conclude? So, we have one qualitative variable, and that's the age of the individual, and it's in three groups this time. So, we have three samples. And then we are comparing with our quantitative variable, which is cholesterol. And our samples are independent because the individuals in each age, age group don't have anything to do with each other. So now we are in quantitative and categorical. Independent samples, more than two samples. So what we need to do now is we need to check for normality and equal variances. If we have normal and equal variances, we will do an ANOVA. If we have a non-normal or a variance is not equal, then we will conduct a cross skull wallace test. Okay, so let's go back down here. So first we need to check for normality, just like we did um, in the previous uh, question. So we're going to go to Analyze, we're going to go to Descriptive, Explore. Okay, and I'm going to reset. So we our factor is by age and we are looking at cholesterol. We want the normality plots with tests. Click OK. And it's going to give us all of those graphs and it's going to give us the estimates and the test. So it's running. Okay, so here we have our sample. Our sample is bigger than 50 in each age group. We can compare means, median, skewness, kurtosis for each age group to make sure that the distribution is normal in each one. Then we can look at the Komogorov Smirnov test for normality. In all three age groups, we have a p value of 0.2, which is greater than 0.05. Therefore, we can determine that they are normal. We can also look at all of the plots, stem and leaves, QQ, looks pretty normal. Just ignore those. And then at the bottom are the box and whisker. Okay, so now that we have decided that they are normal, we are going to do our ANOVA test. And in the ANOVA test, we can select the Levine test for equal variances. So we are going to go up to Analyze, Compare Means, because we're comparing means again, One-Way ANOVA. Okay, we are comparing cholesterol as our dependent variable and age as our factor or independent variable. We need to do two things here. First, go to options. Then we're going to click homogeneity of variance test. This is the Levine test of equal variances. Continue. Then we're going to click post hoc. And because we have three categories in our variable of age, we need to do a post hoc analysis that will show us each category of the variable of age compared to each other category. And this will give us our clinical significance. It'll give us our mean difference for each analysis with its confidence interval. So click on Bonferroni here and continue and click OK. All right, so it gives us our p-value for differences, and it's significant at less than 0.001. So we can say that there are differences in cholesterol between age groups. Then, oh, sorry, we forgot to check the Levine test of equal variances. This test of homogeneity of variances, Levine, check the p-value here, 0.462, and our null hypothesis is that the variances are equal, so that means that we accept the null hypothesis and say that they are equal. If they weren't equal, then we would have to do um, the Kreskel Wallace test. Okay, so we're going to continue, and I gave you a table like this in one exercise that we did in class, and this compares each age group with each other age group. So it gives you the mean difference between 
this age group and this age group, so 18 to 44 minus 45 to 65. And then we get a cholesterol of negative 9.878. So that means that this younger age group has a lower cholesterol than this age group. It also has a lower cholesterol than this age group. And then the second one compares with the, the younger age group, which we already did that analysis. You can see here. And then it compares the middle age group to the older age group, which is here. And our significance levels, our p-value, all are significant, so all are different from each other, and then the confidence intervals, okay? So when you are filling in your table, you need to fill in the mean standard deviation because we determined that this distribution was normal, and then here where it says difference, you have to put each comparison. So this was 1 minus 2, 1, this is the group, so group 1 minus group 2, group 1 minus group 3, and then group 2 minus group 3. And we can see that there's a difference in all of the age groups. Now if we determined that our distributions was not normal in one of the age groups, or if the variances were not equal, then we would be here more than two samples, not normal, or variance is not equal, and we would do a Kruskal-Wallis. And this is the difference of medians, and it will not give us a confidence interval. So what we would do is we would go to Analyze, Non-Parametric Tests, oops, Legacy Dialogues, K-Independent Samples. K means more than two independent samples. Then we would select Age for the grouping variable, Cholesterol, Kruskal-Wallis, and here we have to define the range. So, like we did before, um, I know that our first age group starts at 0 and our last age group ends at 2. So this is just telling us to compare all of the age groups. Click Continue, and then OK. All right, and this gives us a p-value here. Now, when we want to compare each individual group with each other, and with a non-parametric distribution, we cannot do a post hoc test like we did before. What we have to do is we have to do a um, we have to do a Man Whitney test for each category of age compared to each other. So we would go back up here, and we would compare age category 1 with age category 2, then age category 1 with age category 3, then age category 2 with age category 3 to find where the actual differences are. And to do that we would just go back to analyze non-parametric tests, legacy dialogues, two independent samples, and then choose cholesterol, grouping variable age, and the only difference is that here when we define the groups, we're going to do group 0 and group 1. And that's going to compare those two age groups. And then we have to do it again. And we would change, and we would change this to um, group 0 and group 2. And then run that. And then do another one and do group 1 and group 2. And that would give us all three comparisons. Um, and then when we are filling in our table for non-parametric -para distributions, we only can have a difference in medians. So in your table, you would write the medians, and you would write quartile 1 and quartile 3. And then here where the difference is, you would just you would put the p-value, and then you would just put the difference in the medians between those two groups. Okay.